The U.S. avoided a default by raising the debt ceiling, but where does the economy really stand? Karen Kafa breaks down the numbers and what it means for you. Well, good afternoon. President Joe Biden sitting down with his cabinet Tuesday for the first time since January. Today I'm here with my cabinet continuing to focus on getting uh, the job done for the American people. With an eye toward Biden's 2024 re-election bid, where the economy will be among the top domestic issues, the White House used the meeting to highlight implementation of the president's infrastructure plan signed into law last summer. An unemployment rate under 4 percent and the bipartisan debt ceiling deal Biden signed over the weekend to ensure the U.S. would avoid default. He believes that we can continue to get things done and there's a, there's a long list of legislative agenda that he wants to see. With the debt ceiling crisis resolved, more economists are leaning away from the idea that the Federal Reserve's interest rate hikes to curb inflation could slow the economy to a halt. Goldman Sachs chief economist told CNBC Tuesday the labor market is cooling in a way where layoffs have been confined to certain sectors. If you look at the overall layoff numbers, they're still pretty similar to where they were in sort of 2018, 2019, when we had a pretty strong labor market. And consumers keep spending, though major retailers like Macy's and Costco have reported reported a shift toward less expensive food, essentials and services as two years of high inflation takes a toll. In Washington, I'm Karen Kaifa.